the prom where I'm just going to talk real quick because uh, I thought we were going to talk about the prom this week and I was not <laughs> correct on that. Um, but the prom, Ryan Murphy's newest release on Netflix, he's working, Dave. And, um, you know, uh, the prom was not a good movie. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to lay that out there. Uh, there. There's been some possible awards talk for James Corden in this role. Uh, he's on Gold Derby as like a dark horse for like a best actor a nomination it's not going to happen um but i do feel like he has a pretty charming part in this and really the concept is um this this teenager in indiana small town small town indiana wants to go to prom with her girlfriend um and the school is very much against that um these famous broadway stars who have a um failing show on broadway are looking for a pr win and so they go to champion gay rights and really use this teenager's um the the bias against her and the mm-hmm. hate against her as a way to like make themselves look good and of course you know where it ends up is pretty sweet where they all kind of find themselves and look at themselves come around um some of those storylines for each character you know um you have Andrew Andrew Rannell, you have Nicole Kidman, Meryl Streep, James Corden. Um, for all four of them, you know, it kind of hits differently. James Corden's story is about similar to the teenager in the story um, being kicked out uh, because he was gay by his family. Um, it, and then uh, Meryl Streep is just kind of trying to not be so narcissistic and trying to be a better person really is like the center of hers nicole kidman and andrew randall kind of just have bit parts where they come in and get to have musical numbers um but you know i i think there it's varying degrees of success for them but where the it actually i think really thrived as a film was the music it's hmm. very much just like a play um you, you know you can kind of feel it's the three based parts. off of one. Oh well there you go and um <laughs> I think Joe Ellen Pellman playing the the lead character as Emma um, is just really fantastic and uh, sings beautif- beautifully. Um, you know, a couple of, of her tracks really stood out. And, you know, I feel like she's probably a rising star out of this. Um, Carrie Washington has a pretty nothing role as, um, you know, the kind of the villain of the story, the, the principal who doesn't want things to change and, kind of uh homophobic in some ways um but yeah pretty much her and, and andrew randall were the two main parts i i really took to because andrew randall has a, a fun musical number about um you know being nice people and how being gay is is a sin in the bible but so are all these ridiculous things so we should just be tolerant of each other and not look to the bible for moral guidance on that thing uh yeah i mean overall music is good uh structure okay and some of the storylines are okay but for the most part i felt like this was pretty nothing and kind of continues the the trend for ryan murphy where he makes kind of interesting stuff that really isn't that good at the heart of it so you gonna check it out yeah i'm gonna look at it you know you you need stuff at the bottom of the list right (laughs) (laughs) but i mean yeah ryan murphy for what Netflix needs, some, you know, sometimes they just they just need minutes. You know, they just need you to go out there and play the season. And that's Ryan Murphy. He makes them shows and movies, produces other stuff that he's not directly involved in. And, you know, if the stuff gets made, it's there, it gets watched. Whether it's good or not, eh, that that's for you to decide. That doesn't matter to him. He's just putting up shots. Yeah. And I feel like Netflix is very happy with this. Because he's doing exactly what he does, I think this is probably most similar to Glee, uh, and early, and early, I guess relatively early Ryan Murphy mm-hmm. hit, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, in terms of award stuff, I think the Golden Globes would be where anything had any potential with this. Perhaps a song uh, pulls through, but um, I guess I'm most curious to see Meryl Streep because this feels like a bit of an outlier perfor- uh, choice from hers, I guess most similar to like into the woods several years ago at this point, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of, kind of, uh, and heck, even Kidman being in this Kidman has been very hands-on with most of her work the past few years. This 
I wonder if this was just a check for some of them or they were really excited to do music and just have a good time. Who's to say, but, um, you know, I think you said that over like the sweet sweeping conclusion by the end of the film, that'll probably, uh, win over enough people anyway, who, who like these kind of movies. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not that deep at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty big nothing movie for 